Hi everyone. So let's continue to our um, Simon Two uh, uh, presentation. So uh, uh, right now we got a uh, Chan Signal tab uh, user account and the Day One Thing user account in here. So let's say Chan Signal want to create a game room. He can do so by uh, clicking on the create room, and then the room will be uh, uh, view viewable on the Day One Thing's uh, site. So uh, the Chan Signal is actually loading because. Uh, the game room have to be two player in order to load the game. So right now he's waiting for other player. So uh, let's say Taiwan Teng want to join, he then just click on the game room. Then the the game app will just keep loading and then connecting to player. Then the game will just um, load up. Yeah. Then uh, so we also got check the the game room pool. So each game room can only have a uh, two player. So let's say Chai Zing want to join in this game room. Uh, he then click on this uh, this room, then he will show the room full and then navigate back to the room.html page. So yeah, we, we got check this. And then we also check for the user connectivity. Means that if, let's say Chan Xin uh, quit the game, then the day one thing will also quit the game. Ah, uh, yeah. So this one is actually using the real-time database to do the checking. So uh, that's for the connectivity stuff. So let's just... Uh, get back to the game okay uh, so right now loading um, um, okay now I want to talk to you about the chat box first so in, on the bottom right corner right you got the chat so let's say I just uh, uh, enter some words in here then the message will be sent to the one thing to the game game public room lah. So uh, this one is the chat. So you can the day one thing can expand the chat. Then you can view the the the, the text. Oh. So, and then you can just send back the message. Actually, we got implement the notification count. So if the if the user did not expand the chat. So yeah, you can see that the, the notification count is um incrementing. Yeah, it will increment until ninety nine lah, the maximum. So yeah, that's for the chat box. So okay, finish. So um. So um, uh, let's talk about the game 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 uh, mechanic. So actually, this game is a uh, is a um, is a is a grid based game, and it was the gameplay was uh the gameplay was actually turn based, and then the we got two players now. So we will got red team and also blue team. Okay. So let's talk about the label. So the left user label is the user that is taking turn. Means that. If the user was on the top left corner, then means that he's uh, taking their turn to play the game. So and then the right user label on the top right corner is the user that is waiting for that turn. Yeah. And then the blue team will always start first when the game started. So right now it's blue team start now. Uh, so uh, yeah. And then we also got the end turn button. End turn button allow them to end their turn. So right now it's blue team. Uh, uh, blue team uh, playing. So he, he got the end turn button. If he click on the enter button, then he will pass to Day One Thing to to play the game lah. So uh yeah, Day One Thing then have the enter button, then he can just pass back to the Chan Xin Yong. Yeah. So we also got the turn count. Turn count means uh 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 to 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 count the turn. Ah. So uh it increment in each cycle. So each cycle means that um. So let's say right now it's two ma, turn two. So let's say I I I I click on the enter. Then the the count wasn't won't be increment first unless that one thing we also click on the enter then he will just increment yeah that's what I mean cycle yeah so uh that's all for the turn count uh so next I want to show you the about the game troops and also the house on my draw I O uh, uh draft so you can see that the rectangle red rectangle right. Actually, this means it was a wall, and then the green rectangle is actually the path. Okay, and then uh, we also got three type of house. Okay, uh, we got house, troop house, and also HQ. Okay, then uh, house also separate to three category, which are red team house, neutral house, and also blue team house. So uh, troop house also red team uh, troop house, neutral troop house, blue team troop house. Yeah, then for the HQ. We only got red team house and blue team house, so because um um each user can only have one red HQ, 
I mean one HQ. So you can see that the red team has one red HQ and then the blue team has one blue HQ. Yeah. So let's talk about the neutral house. What is that? Um, so the neutral house is actually meant to be captured by infantry or mech troop. So the infantry or mech troop is the this thing, the human, this troop. So uh the 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 the, inf the mech I mean the infantry is the this troop, yeah. So yeah, that is for capturing lah. If uh if the house was neutral. So um let's talk about the HQ. Just now I said each team has one HQ, yeah. And then if the HQ is destroyed, the user will lose. So later I will show you how the HQ be destroyed. Uh, okay, that's for the HQ. And then um for the troop house. Uh, troop house is to allow the team to purchase and deploy the troop. So just now I just click on the troop house, right? So you can see that you can buy the troop in here. So let's say I want to buy a uh, infantry, then you can click on it, then you can just uh click off uh, on the uh, four side, yeah. Then you just uh, deploy the troop. Yeah, you can see that uh, it was invisible means that he was uh, he has uh, interact with that action later I will explain. Okay, then um so uh, let's talk about the house capture. So the 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 higher number of house capture, the higher income per turn. So uh, we calculate per house capture multiplied by 100 gold. So what it means by uh, what it means is actually um let's say on the blue team in here, uh the blue team um has three house mark, right one two three yeah blue team house. So let's say I just click on enter, and then right now it's the one thing, and then I click on enter. You can see that the goal is actually uh, increment 300 yeah so uh, the more house you have the more gold uh, in each turn you have yeah so um that's for the house capture so uh, we got eight type of troop we got infantry mech recon supply tank medium tank neo tank and also mega tank so um um, every troop and house has a maximum of 10 health uh, except the neutral house because neutral house doesn't belong to any team it's just neutral so it doesn't have any health it's just meant to be captured so uh, yeah I just said maximum of 10 health for every troop and house and then if a troop or house is ex is exactly or below 9 health it will show a health label so for example you can see the screenshot uh, this one is a troop Right now he was uh, very healthy. Let's say if he got uh, attacked by another troop, then he will show the label on the bottom right corner. Means that he was uh, has the four health only. Lo. If didn't show any label, means that he has a maximum of ten health. Yeah. Then for house as well, also the same. If he got injured, then he will show the health remaining. Yeah. So uh, so the game. In order to win the game, user have to destroy other team HQ or wipe out other team troops. Yeah, HQ is the red HQ, uh, blue HQ, uh. and then the troop is the entire troop. Yeah, to 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 destroy uh. So that's for the overall game. Um, so let me show you the gameplay. So right now it's blue team turn uh. Um, let me just uh move this tab in here and then the red team tab in here. Easy to see uh. So uh, right now blue team is in here. Okay. So uh, I want to show you the troop movement first. So right now it's blue team. So you can click on the uh, any troop so let's say you click on this uh, troop tank so he can just show all the routes yeah and then he can click on any routes and perform an action so uh, 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 action we got um, um, six total action we got attack capture reinforce supply weight and cancel so this action is uh, ap appear by uh, matting certain condition uh. So right now he can't do anything yet, so he can just wait and cancel. So later I will demonstrate more action. So uh, let me demonstrate the wait action first. So wait action means that it moves the troop but do nothing. So I want to move the tank. So I just move uh, troop and then click on wait. Then he can just move here. Then you can see that the tank is invisible. I mean the opacity is set to half. Means that the user can't interact it anymore because he has uh, takes his chance to to move the troop yeah so uh, i just said uh, if an action is made for troop or troop house it cannot be interacted again until next turn unless until next turn means that end turn then the, the red team also enter then yeah next turn uh, next turn yeah so um let me demonstrate the capture action 
just now I have showed the weight action. So um, the capture action is only applied on infantry or and mech troop. So this one is the uh, mech troop and this one is infantry. So let me just uh, try to use the capture action. So let's say you want to capture a house. You want you have to um 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 go to the to to the one great this uh, I mean to the nearest distance of the house uh, to capture the house. So you can see that the capture action is appear because it was near the neutral house. Yeah. So let's say I want to capture and then I click on capture. So you can see that the marker is here. Then you can just click on uh, this marker to capture. You you can also see the pink color and orange color. Means that orange color is the starting point of the uh, troop. The pink color is the ending point of the troop. So uh, this was just a declaration. I mean not declaration like um, specification to know which troop is moving which troop lah. Yeah, to to know lah. So um so let's say I click on this marker. Then you can see that the 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 house was captured. So uh, you can you also can see the health label. So actually, how the health label is calculated? Uh, it's, it is calculated based on a troop health. Eh, based on a troop health divided by two, means that the the infantry troop health is actually ten, and then divided by two means uh, become five. Lor. So yeah, you can see that the the house health is five. Yeah. So uh, house health is actually incremented every turn. Right now it's five, right? So let's let's say I just click on end turn. Okay, right now it's the one thing turn, uh, and then the house also five. So let's say the one thing also end turn. So you can see that the house health is incremented. Yeah, you can see become six already. Yeah. So let's say I just click on end turn again, and then the one thing also end turn again. So and then it becomes six, uh, seven, seven uh, health already. Yeah, increment, keep increment until become max health lah. Uh, yeah. So that's for the house health, and then um, let's talk about attack. Okay, attack. Okay, attack. All troop can attack. Eh, uh, eh. All troop can attack towards enemy house or enemy troop, except supply troop. Supply troop is the this troop. So later I will explain what is the supply troop. Uh, first of all, I want to explain the attack action first. So uh, the attack action must near the enemy house or enemy troop. So uh, let me show you. Uh, let's say I want to move this troop to here. Then move this troop to here. Okay. Then move this troop here. Okay. And then this one I want to capture. Okay. So um yeah, that's for the turn. No more turn. So let's say I want to move red team, red troop. So you can see actually he can attack this troop because he was near. He can walk to beside beside the troop. So let's say I want to uh, click on this route and then I I click on the attack action. So when I click on attack action, you can see that. The percentage right means that the per, the percentage that it deal it it can deal to the to the troop lah. So uh, this troop can actually deal to this troop five uh, fifty five percent. So let me just click on it. Then uh, it will just deal to the damage. I mean deal the damage to him. You can see that the the blue troop has become five health uh, five health left, and the red troop has eight health left. So you might ask why red troop uh will have eight health left. Because actually, if the enemy troop is still alive, they can actually counter attack. So yeah, that is why um, it become a health lab. So uh, uh, so the percentage will be shown. I just show uh, will be shown for user to determine the attack damage that will be dealt to the enemy. And then if enemy is still alive, enemy will in, uh, will a counter attack with the remaining health. So five health attack to this full health become a uh, means that counter attack lah. Yeah. So actually, all troop has a base damage. So let me show you the base damage chart uh, in here. So just now was the red team troop, right? So he deal damage to the blue team troop. Uh, troop. So um, he got fifty five percent. Yeah, you can see that fifty five. Yeah, to here to this troop. So uh, uh, let me show you the formula of damage calculation. So this is the formula. Uh, uh. The B B represent the base damage, uh, and then and then the L is represent the luck damage. So the luck damage is actually later I will uh, explain uh. And then the A H is uh, is actually the attacker health, and then the ten is the total of the health, and then equal how many percent. So you can see that just now the percentage is is um is um 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 show uh. So let's say I want to attack, use this troop to attack this. So so yeah, you can see the six percent. Uh, yeah, so that is how the percentage is 
uh, calculated. Yeah. So and then after that, if the user confirm the attack, he will convert the percentage into this form and then multiply that by 10 equal to damage reduction it means that the damage it will be taking to the enemy troop so dh means it was a enemy troop uh, uh, enemy troop health defender health minus by damage reduction uh, the damage it can be dealt and then equal to final health of the enemy troop yeah so this is how i calculate the damage chart based on the base damage in in here so let's say I just uh, attack from red tank to blue tank. This troop, okay. So uh, let's say uh, this is the damage calculation. Assume the luck damage is actually zero, and then assume the attacker and defender health is uh, healthy ten. Okay. So these are the formula. So fifty five plus zero. The, the zero is luck damage. Uh, multiply by uh, attacker health uh, over ten equal to fifty five percent. You can see just now fifty five percent. And then convert to 5.5 and then 10 minus 5.5 equal to 4.5 means that the final health and then the final health um convert to, to to the integer then he will become five so yeah you can see that the the blue tank is actually five yeah mm. so yeah that is how i calculate the damage so uh the luck damage let's talk about the luck damage so the luck damage is actually based on the attacker health for example Let's say if the attacker have a 10 health, he have a chance of getting 0 to 9 luck damage. So let's say he have a 9 health, he have a chance of getting 0 to 8 luck damage. Then 8 health, then 0 to 7, then 7, uh, then 6, then 5, yeah, etc. So that is how I calculate the luck damage based on the, uh, the troop health. So yeah, that's for the damage. So the calculation above apply to counter attack as well. You can see that the blue tank try to counter attack to red tank. So yeah, but we've reduced attacker health low because he got a tank. Yeah. So that is how counter attack is applied as well. Uh, as well. Okay. So uh, that's all for the attack. Okay. So how to capture enemy house? So uh, let's say if the blue team want to capture a uh, red team house, so the troop have to be destroyed. I mean the the blue team have to destroy enemy uh, the red team troop to become the neutral house. Then let the infantry or mech troop to capture the house. So let me show you. Uh, let's say, okay, let's say, uh, this one capture this house. Okay, so um, let's say um, if the blue team want to capture this this house, I want to walk to there first. Uh, let me just go to there. Okay, so um, just go there, go there. Okay, go there. So let me just buy some tank. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, to demonstrate how uh, how uh, faster uh, to demonstrate faster. So uh, let me just uh, move, move, uh, move, 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 move. Okay. So let's say the tank want to attack this house. Okay. Then you can attack. Uh, Twenty-five percent. Okay. Then attack. Okay. So uh, actually the house will also counter attack uh, if the house is still alive. So actually this recon also can attack, but hey, oh very large damage. Then I can attack. You can see that the red team house become neutral house. So when the house become neutral, the 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 mech and I mean the the human troop have to capture lah. So um, so let's say I just enter enter okay, and I just kill this okay, and I just go to here. I can capture yeah capture bring, and then he can capture. So yeah, that is how you capture the enemy. You have to destroy the enemy house. I mean uh uh destroy the enemy house to to neutral house in order to capture the house. So uh yeah, that is the thing. Okay, so um um user can buy troop from troop house. Just now I show he, he just buy the tank. Then uh let's say I want to buy a supply troop to demonstrate the supply action. Okay, so let's say I want to buy this troop. Uh, five hundred go. Okay, let me just go. Okay, so uh um so the supply troop. Okay, so the supply troop have a supply action. So uh the the supply troop can only supply supply uh I mean heal lah heal. So the supply troop does not attack and counter attack. It does not do anything does not do anything except healing. So it heals an injured troop with five health but costs five hundred gold. So let me show you. Just now I show I mean I mean just now the tank has been uh the this tank this troop has become four health mark. So let's say I I I um. I, I go back to here 
um, I mean, I go back to here. So the actually this this um um the supply troop can heal him by causing five hundred gold. So let me just go near him. Okay, then you can see that supply action, right? So let me just uh, click on supply. Then you click on this marker. You can see that the four become nine, become nine. Yeah. Then um, uh, it heal five health lah. Means that yeah, it doesn't do anything. Uh, I mean, do any attack. It only heal people. So let me demonstrate. Uh, if he was going near to the enemy, enemy, uh, enemy troop, you can see that there is no action. Uh, action. I mean, attack action. Yeah. So he can't do anything. So let's say if the enemy attack him lah, he won't do any counter attacks. Yeah. He only heal people. Yeah. So uh yeah that's for the supply tool okay, so we also got reinforce, reinforce. So reinforce actually means that, uh you want to heal from the capture house. Injured troop can reinforce from their capture house. However, HQ house cannot be reinforced. So later I will show you So a uh, house that has only one HP left cannot be reinforced. So uh yeah so let me show you. Let's say the the blue troop. The, this this uh, supply troop want to heal. He can go near to the house, and then he click on reinforce. Yeah, then uh, he can just uh, click on his own house. Then he can reinforce. You can see that actually reinforce means that the the troop house borrow the health to the. I mean the the house borrow the health to the troop. Yeah. <laughs> so uh so uh let's say if if um um let's say if the house is on health one then he can't be the borrow so uh let me show you again so let's say this tank want to attack this tank okay, 44 percent okay so right now the tank is actually four health so if, let's say you want to heal from this reinforce so he actually can heal from four health uh, because uh if he keep reinforce uh, that the the house will actually destroy you know so that is why um we got a validation check that said it cannot be destroyed uh, with the limit of one health. Uh, let me show you. Uh, so reinforce and then click on this. So yeah, you can see that the health is, is actually one. You can also, uh, I mean, you can you can borrow four health only. Yeah. So you can see that the tank is healed up for four health. So uh, so yeah, that's for the thing. Okay, for the reinforcement. Okay, here we are. So uh so just now I said it actually means like a health borrow from health uh from house. Yeah. So that is all for the reinforce. Yeah. Okay. And then let's <clears throat> let's talk about the game over. So get how the game is over. Um it shows the I mean uh if the HQ destroy, the user will lose. So let's say if the blue team want to win, he have to destroy the HQ first. So let me demonstrate how the game wins. So let me just uh move the tank. Uh, let me just uh, buy an expensive mega tank. Okay. okay. Then let me just move towards the uh, red HQ. Okay. Then uh, let's say I want to attack this guy. Lah. Okay. And then I will just uh, capture this thing. Okay. Capture. Okay. Then just go, go, go. Okay. Go, go, go. And then enter and enter. And then uh, let's just uh, attack this HQ. 40%. Okay. And then he got counter attack. Okay. Never mind. Okay. So let's just attack, attack. And boom okay so uh, let me just keep moving keep moving okay go 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 okay wait wait okay then enter red team also enter okay and then just uh, attack again okay attack so uh, almost die the, the the house okay just keep attack 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 see this you can attack okay then let's just attack again okay attack ah uh, yeah you can see that the house actually become neutral means that the house the hq has been uh, destroy lah. So yeah, you can see that actually you win. Uh. Then the other user actually got the you lost, but I don't know why he didn't show. Uh. Uh, never mind. So yeah, that's how the game. I mean, how the user win the game uh. So let's say uh, there is also another 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 way to win the game, which is to uh, wipe out entire troops. So let's just join back the game again. Okay. Um. <clears throat> okay. So um. Just join back. Okay. Um. Loading, loading. So um, let's go. Okay, let's say I want a blue team win. So I want to wipe out all the red team win. Okay, I mean all the red team. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's just go, 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 go. Capture. I mean, yeah. Wait. Okay. 
So let me just uh, uh, don't buy anything first. Uh. I want to save money. Okay, then uh, let's say I want to attack this guy. Okay, boom. Okay, eh, didn't die yet. Okay, then attack this guy. Boom. Okay, then go, go, go. So I want to buy. Uh, uh, also want to save money first. Okay. So let's say I want to attack this guy again. Boom. Okay. Attack. Boom. Okay. Capture. So tank. Buy tank. Okay. So uh, let's just attack again. Okay. So you can see that uh, I want to attack this guy. This is the last route. So when I click on it, boom, then you can say that I mean the system will say you win and then the other user will say you lose. So yeah, that's all for the game over part. So uh, I think that is all. Uh, uh, let me just show you another thing. Um, we also actually got implement the label. I don't know if you notice it on the top left uh, corner. So uh, uh, let's say uh, if the user trying to do an action, uh, let's say the Mac, uh, this guy, want to go to here and then capture. You can see actually that I this label. Actually, this is the action label means that what are you doing? You are attacking or not? You are capturing or not? Yeah. So let's say if you are buying troop, uh, and he also got say you are deploying the troop. Uh. So let's say if you want to cancel anything, then you just click on the map. Uh. Yeah. So that's all for the game. So uh, let me see. Okay, I think that's all for implementation. So right now I want to talk about how this idea came from. Actually, this idea is came from a game called Advance War. Advance War uh, is actually a Game Boy game. Uh, I used to play when I was a child. Yeah. So I actually inspired the idea from this. And also, uh, we also, I mean, we also got inspired from a game called War Group. War Group is actually a PC game. Uh, actually similar to Advance War, but uh, different. I mean. Slightly different, uh, uh, yeah. So, uh, um, so uh, actually, I got implement. I mean, I got buy the game. So let me show you the 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 the, the game that I, I reference. Yeah, like this. So actually, I just copy the idea from this map, lah. You can see that the wall is actually this, this. Uh, I mean, the the map, lah, is actually similar to this map. Yeah. So you can see that the wall is actually this sea, and this this wall, the mountain, lah. Uh, actually, you can you can see that the red red rectangle right so yeah you can see that red rectangle yeah red rectangle and then the house i just um you know just change a little bit and then some some something change a little bit so yeah i just copy from this map lah. so uh yeah the idea also the same in this game as well you just recruit yeah okay so yeah that's for the for the for the game i reference lah. so uh so i also want to say that the website that i had reference uh the website is actually this website uh, this website, which is the 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 advanced war website, so it actually gave you the formula of providing the damage. So I just simplify it to the damage I just shown you just now. Uh, I mean simplify the formula this to to this uh, this formula lah. Yeah. Then I also got reference to this damage chart. This chart. Uh, so this uh, base damage. So I just uh got got uh got um reference to this. Uh, uh, damage. Then I just uh, a reference to this. I mean, um, paste it in here. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's for the design. Uh, yeah. That this is the overall base damage. And then um, um, okay. So this game is actually poor development. No code reference. The only reference on the UI and also on the this thing base damage and also this uh damage formula. So I think that is all for my presentation. Okay, I hope you enjoy and thank you.